Good morning, sweet friends. Happy Monday. I hope that you had a good Mother's Day and that you had a chance to tell your mom and your grandma that you love them and you appreciate all that they do for you and that you showered them with special attention all day. If you didn't do that, then today is as good a day as any to do that. Um, let them know how much you appreciate them and all that they do for you. So, today we're going to learn a little bit more about those floss letters or those double letters. We're going to spend most of our day working on them and then your Nearpod activity will also deal with um, floss letters or double letters. So, um, the way this is going to work today is if we were in class together, I would write some words on the board and ask you to come up and find the letters that work together to make one sound or the digraphs. But um, obviously because you're not here with me and you can't circle those letters for me, um, I'm going to have to do that part for us. So we will <clears throat> sound out the words that Miss Hales writes and then we will circle those letters together. Okay? If you would like to write them on your paper, you can. Um, but before you do that, why don't we work on some of them here on a one paper together, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first word that we're going to write is the word glass. I'm going to sound it out for you, get my fingers ready. So the word, the sounds are g o a s Okay, so let's write it down. g o a s what two letters work together to make one sound of s? It's the double S. So today what we're going to do, instead of underlining them, Miss Hales is going to circle them for you. Okay? So let's read this word. Goal. Remember that's a consonant blend and when we say it, we say it quickly, right? Each of the letters maintains its sound. The G says G, the L says O, but we say them together quickly. Okay? So, goal. Ass, glass. Very nice. Let's do our next word. The next word we're going to do is the word chill. Here we go. Ch, ill, chill. Okay. So, do you remember what letters make the ch sound? Ch. There's my hint for you. C H says ch, I, o. Okay. So on this one, we could actually circle two different digraphs, right? Because the CH works together to say CH, but I'm just going to underline it because our main focus today is those double letters. So CH, I, O. So I'm going to circle the L's because together they just say O one time, okay? Let's do our next word. Our next word is going to be ADD, ADD, sound it out. Ad. How many sounds are in that word? Ad. Just two sounds, right? But there's three letters. Watch this. Ad. Because this one happens to be a double letter, okay? So what are we going to do with the d? We're going to circle it. Let's read the word. Ad. Ad. When you put things together, you add them. Okay, now let's do the word fuzz. Fuzz, right? I have some fuzz on my sweater. Okay, so let's sound out the word. Fuzz. One more time. Fuzz. Okay, what letter makes the f sound? The letter F. Ah, ah. That's the letter U, like up. Okay? And then we said Z. It's two Z's together. Fuzz. And we're going to circle the Z sound. Even though there are two Z's there, we only say one Z. Fuzz. Fuzz. Very nice. Okay. Now, let me look and see what other letters we have to do. Here's a couple more words that we'll write. Let's see if I have enough room. Okay, so let's write the word less. Now, these are all words that you should know how to read 
and all words that you should know how to spell because you know all of the letters and all of the sounds that are in these words, or at least you should at this point in the school year, know all of the letters and all of the sounds. If you don't know them, you need to continue working on them and practicing them at home, okay? The next word Miss Hales is gonna work with, with you is the word less, less, not more, but less. Let's break it down, less, less. Now let's write the word, less, again that's the double S, or the floss word, double letters, look at that, L-E-S-S, less, less. Let's write the word class, class, we'll write it right here next to the word glass. Okay, let's sound out the word k -u -a -s, class. So it starts with the C. U -a -s. And what letters are we going to circle? We're going to circle the double S. Look here, here's glass. There's a consonant blend, and here's another consonant blend, class. The C and the L both maintain their sound, but we say them quickly. K, O, S, or Clo, S, class. I wish we were in class today. I miss you, and I wish we were all together. Let's write the word cross, cross. Sound it out with me. Cross. Write it for us. Cross. What two letters are we going to circle in that one? We're going to circle the two S's again. Even though there are two S's, we only say the sound one time. And here's another consonant blend, which means we say it quickly. So say it with me. Cross, cross, very good. Uh, why don't we do the word mitt, mitt. The boy caught the ball with his catcher's mitt. Let's sound it out. Mitt, mitt. Let's write it down. Mitt. Two T's in that word. I'm going to circle them just to remind us that even though there are two, they make one sound together. Let's read it. Mit, mit. And then we're going to do the word kiss. Kiss. Did you give your mother a kiss yesterday for Mother's Day? Or maybe your grandma? K, I, S. One more time. K, I, well, let's write it. This one is written with a K. It could have been a C because it's k, k, k but this word is written with a K. I, S, double S on the end. Kiss. We're going to circle the double letters to remind us. Kiss. Okay? I think you did a pretty good job with that today. All right, let's do one chaining activity. So now, if you didn't get out a pencil and paper or your dry erase marker and your board, now I need you to do that because we will do some chaining and this I really would like for you to write down, okay? All right, Ms. Hales is going to erase these to clear my board. If you were writing along with me, then go ahead and clear your board. We'll do one chaining activity today. Let's start with the word mutt, mutt. Break it down, m-u-t, m-u-t. All of these will have double letters in them. And remember, like we said the other day, the double letters are usually at the end or sometimes in the middle of a word, but very rarely at the beginning of a word, mutt. All right, I want you to change the word mutt to the word mitt, mitt, break it down, 
mit. What letter did you change? We changed the U to an I, the A uh to an I, mit. Now I want you to change the word mit into the word miss. Break it down. Mm -i -s. Go ahead and write it. Mm -i -s. Double S. Don't forget the double S. Now I want you to change miss to the word kiss. The sound that a snake makes. We say that it makes a hiss. Here we go. Sound it out. Hiss. Go ahead and write it. Hiss. Hiss. Now change the word hiss to the word hill. Hill. Break it down with me. Ill, hill. Go ahead and write it. Hill. Then I want you to change hill to the word bill. Bill. Break it down. B, ill, bill. Go ahead and write it. B, ill, bill. See how easy that is? You're doing a great job, I can tell. <laughs> Change the word bill to the word bell. He rang the bell and they all went home. Bell, break it down with me. B, e, o, bell. Go ahead and write it. B, e, o, bell. Very nice. Now we're going to change the word bell to the word fell. He fell off of this step. Fell. Here we go. F-e-l. Fell. Fell. And the last word I would like for you to write is the word shell. What two letters make the sh sound? The word ship is your clue. Sh. It's an S and then an H together that work together to make one sound. Sh. Sh. L. Shell. Okay, let's read what we have and we're going to read it fluently. We have mutt, mitt, miss, hiss, hill. Bill, bell, fell, shell. Good job. Now today, I would like for you to go to Nearpod and I want you to just work on reading some of the words that are there. So what I have for you is a worksheet that has a few rows of words and these words are all double letter words, okay? So I'll just do the first one here. The first word for you is puff, uh, puff, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the word, you're gonna circle with your finger, you're gonna circle the letters that make the, the, the double letters that make one sound, okay? And you're just gonna read it, so after you are finished, you can hit submit and send it to Miss Hale so I can see it. But obviously I won't be able to hear you read what you're reading. So make sure that you're reading all of the letters, all of the words. There are going to be 12 words on the page. They're all sounds that you should know, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Read it through one time, and then um, I'd like for you to try to read it through again, but the second time I'd like for you to try to read it through more fluently. And then make sure that you're circling the letters that make the, the digraphs, the letters that work together to make one sound. Okay? Have a great day and work hard. See you tomorrow.